asked. I do not consent. I am. No, I do not. No. No. If you touch me, it's assault. If you touch me, you are committing assault. You are invite. This is assault. And right now, uh, the police are announcing Protest is over and done. Time to leave the area. Time to disperse from this area, folks. We're not here. We're not here. We're not here. We're not here. The protest is over and done. No, mate, that's not how it works in a free country. That might be how it works in Iran or China or North Korea or Venezuela or Russia. But in a country like Canada, which has a legal tradition of ordered liberty, of limited government, of fundamental rights that cannot be abridged without meeting a high test, a bill of rights brought in by Diefenbaker, a charter of rights brought in by Trudeau, and 40 years of charter litigation. It is not for the police to simply come in and say, the protest is over and done. That's not a thing. There was a peaceful protest against the lockdown, one of the most abusive lockdowns in Canada. And I'm so proud that five of our rebel teammates went down there. And by the way, I didn't direct them. I didn't say, go on your weekend. They, they went down because they love freedom and they wanted to report on this. And they knew, as I know, that you just can't trust the media party. The media party loves the lockdown. The media party, which pretends to care about civil liberties, is against civil liberties. And if anyone protests in defense of civil liberties, the media party calls them a kook or alt-right. Oh, and the liberals know how to play that fiddle, don't they? Uh, in actual fact, people who are against the lockdowns are on the right and the left. In fact, as you may remember, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. was the keynote speaker at a massive anti-lockdown protest in Berlin. He's certainly a man on the left. Look at that name again, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. But let me show you really an amalgam, a montage of video clips from Toronto on Saturday. We're still putting together our masterpiece video, which uh, I just know is going to be amazing. But <clears throat> a couple things to look for here is uh, obviously keep in the back of your mind how the Toronto police literally took a knee to Black Lives Matter protests this summer. And look at them with no provocation, grabbing people, tackling them, and arresting them, including a granny, by the way. I um, <clears throat> paraphrased Winston Churchill in a tweet over the weekend. He, he um, you, if you know Churchill, you'll recognize the quote. I say that John Tory's Toronto Police are either at your feet or at your throat. And I think that's how it is, unfortunately, with Toronto's police now. Black Lives Matter, we're at your feet. Anti-lockdown, we're at your throat. All right, here's a few minutes of that. Take a look. <laughs> Give us room. Just give them room. Give them room. You are. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm media, sir. I am media. Rebel news. Rebel news. Yes. Okay, sir. You have to stay on the other side. Okay. And 
right now, uh, the police are announcing that we will need to go home. Protest is over and done. Time to leave the area. Time to disperse from this area, folks. Do not interfere. Do not interfere. Do not face arrest. Do not interfere. Do not face arrest. Terrible things happening there. Obviously, you won't see that footage in the media party. I think the most odious thing I saw was the man with the disabled legs being pounced on by five cops. In a close second place would be the old granny swarmed and assaulted. But the worst thing I heard there, and would you agree with me on this, and I wrote it down verbatim, is a cop announcing on a megaphone, the protest is over and done. No, mate, that's not how it works in a free country. That might be how it works in Iran or China or North Korea or Venezuela or Russia. But in a country like Canada, which has a legal tradition of ordered liberty, of limited government, of fundamental rights that cannot be abridged without meeting a high test, a bill of rights brought in by Diefenbaker, a charter of rights brought in by Trudeau, and 40 years of charter litigation. It is not for the police to simply come in and say, the protest is over and done. That's not a thing. Uh, A protest is not on the schedule of the police. It doesn't start when the police say so. It doesn't stop when the police say so. 
it's up to citizens to choose how and when to protest. Uh, a protest cannot be done in a criminal manner, in a violent manner. But that was a peaceful protest. In fact, the only violence I saw was committed by John Tory's police. Would you agree with me? It's not up to the police to tell you when you can or can't have a protest and how long it can be, especially in a public square like Young Dundas Square, which is sort of the Times Square of Toronto. Did that come through okay there? Yeah. So when it comes to political protests, Toronto police are either at your feet or at your throat. Depends on your political opinions. That's a corruption of the rule of law. If you were assaulted or fined today, go to buy the Toronto police, go to fightthefines.com. Click on the image on the right. Okay, that's one on the left. That's the Black Lives Matter protest earlier in the year. Those are Toronto police officers taking a knee. And then on the, on the other one, that is on Saturday, police one, two, three, four, five, six, seven police in the picture and some guy underneath the pile of them. What's the difference? Is this guy violent <clears throat> and the Black Lives Matter people not? No, neither were violent. Um, how about location? I think, if you go to the other one just for a second. I can't tell if that's on a street. It looks like it's on a street. Ah, I think that's a parking lot. That's what that is. You're right. I can, can see like the oil is built. Oh, that's a parking lot. So that's in a parking lot. And the other one was a Young and Dundas Square, which is like a public square. So neither one of them was like right in the middle of a highway. Neither one of them appears, to, well, actually a parking lot could well be private property. This is public property. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Well, under John Tory's police, they pick and choose who they enforce the law against, who they violate, and who they assault, based on your politics. In science, they would call this a controlled experiment. You control all the variables. Is it in Toronto? Yes. Is it a peaceful protest? Yes. Is it in a place that it's inherently dangerous to protest? No. I don't think that Black Lives Matter was in a dangerous place like the middle of the highway. And obviously, Young Dang Das Square is a public square. So you've controlled all those other variables. The only thing that changed was the political stripe. <clears throat> That's a form of corruption. No one should be above the law. No one should be below the law. The law should be applied equally. But it is not. The protest is over and done. That's your opinion. Um, that is not the law. And when that is uh, uttered by a cop on a megaphone, that's about as interesting as a Twitter tweet and no more binding. But if that cop then proceeds to arrest and assault people because in his personal opinion, the protest is over and done, on what basis does he say it's over and done? Because he's heard enough? Or is it because he doesn't like what he's heard? Uh, is it because of the political nature of what was said? Maybe there was someone else yet to speak. Maybe simply standing in a public square is not yet a crime in Canada. Toronto's police is murdering its reputation. But if you think that's just a Toronto police matter, it's not. We just happen to have our head office here in Toronto, so five of our people uh, went down on Saturday, and I'm grateful to them. And I'm grateful to Mocha, who got pushed around a bit, which I don't like one bit. Oh, hi, friends. What you just saw there is a clip from our Rebel News daily live stream show. It's fun, it's fast, and it's completely unscripted, so you never really know what you're going to get. Just go to rebelnews.com slash live stream to sign up for special alerts.